Disegno and Colore. When studying High Italian Renaissance, there are two distinct schools of image creation, Disegno, design, and Colore o Colorito, color. Disegno was the school favored in most of Italy, including Florence, Rome, and Milan. Colore is an idea that emerged in Venice. Disegno is based on design. Disegno art is created by first creating studies of the figures and settings in the forms of drawings. Some artists, such as Leonardo, have whole sketchbooks to use for the study of his final works. For others, such as Michelangelo, we have relatively few. Michelangelo often destroyed his studies. They were just rough, draw rough drafts, after all, so why keep them? But these drawings base designs not only for paintings, but also for sculpture and even architecture. Disegno paintings are carefully designed and executed. If you stripped away the paint, you would see a pencil or silver point drawing underneath, either directly applied to the panels or canvas, or transferred from a cartoon for wall or ceiling frescoes. The figures were then carefully colored according to the design. The point of Disegno was to create carefully finished works, appealing to line and logic. Spaces were carefully designed and mappable, and the world set into logical spaces and settings. By carefully designing each piece, naturalism and careful construction was the object of, to be emphasized. By contrast, Venetian artists were far more interested in color, texture, and emotion. They created their image through use of color, letting the paint itself build the image, sometimes directly on a surface with no underdrawing. Instead of careful study of figure and design, colorito emphasizes a more immediate connection to the viewer through the senses, color and texture, are used as tools to appeal to emotion and experience, rather than cold logic and rationality. When we look at Venetian art, such as Titian's Venus of Urbino, we find ourselves confronted with an image appealing to our senses rather than our reason. The textures of the fabrics, surfaces, and even the lady's skin gives her an immediacy and emotional pull. We find ourselves caught in the moment as she looks out and engages us in an intimate scene of sexuality. Later Colorito images emphasize the primacy of the paint. Titian's Christ crowned with thorns is an example of an image constructed directly on the canvas with no underdrawing, and giving rein to the brushstroke and the paint. Again, the result is an emotionally engaging scene with a sense of drama, motion, and immediacy through both the looser brushstroke and the masterful understanding of color. The darkness, the muted tones, the dramatic brush and motion bring home the shock of a scene of pain and imminent death. It is the color and paint which set the mood.